Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and we're coming at you with Jaspi's 22 box Hit Parade and T-Mall mixer. And this is Hit Parade Chairman, which is apparently the highest tier ever. And we got some autographed uh, kicks in there too, autographed sneaker. So it should be a pretty good break. So there's the one box of uh, Chairman edition, then one box of the Hit Parade autographed sneakers, kicks. Right, and then the 20 box case of Panini Hoops Basketball T-Mall edition. And look at this, all card ships, so that's pretty nice. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on it. Congrats again to the winners of spots in those status breaks. And all 30 basketball teams are in. Let's roll it, let's randomize names and teams. Five and a two, seven times each. Lucky seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. There you go. After seven, we got Nancy down to Eric K. A couple Eric Ks. Once again, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventh and final time. After seven, we got the Cavs down to my Lakers. All right, Nancy with the Cavs, Daniel with the Hawks, Rick with the Thunder, Sean with the Nuggets, Shane with the Wizards, Anthony with the Pistons, Darren with the Heat, Jonathan with the Rockets, Aaron with the Mavs, with your uh, Last Spot Mojo star next to your name. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. Will with the Celtics, Tom with the Magic, Alexander with the Clippers, Robert with the Pacers, Matt with the Blazers, Anthony with the T-Wolves, Gail with the Warriors, Adam with the Nets, Josh with the Bucks, Matt with the Hornets and the Raptors, Terry with the Knicks, Matt with the Kings, David with the Spurs, Danny with the Jazz, Roy with the Sixers, Anthony with the Pelicans, Will with the Suns, Ruben with the Grizz, and Eric K with the spot you won, the Bulls, and with the spot you bought straight up, the Lakers. All right, so let's sort alphabetically by team. And trading is allowed when I, uh, when I pause the video. Trade at your own risk. Remember, with the sneakers, and the, the Hit Parade Chairman Edition, who knows what could pop out of there. It could be old school guys, rookies, active players, superstars, who knows. So just keep that in mind. Trade at your own risk. We're going to pause the video when we come back. We'll see if there's any risk takers. And then uh, we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done, so that list right there remains the same. Thanks for joining the Jaspies 22 Box Hit Parade Team All Mixer. I appreciate it. So there's the final printout right there. Thanks, everyone, once again. And here is the case right here of Hoops Asia Edition or T Mall Edition, whatever you want to call it. T Mall is a big, uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's a big e commerce website in, uh, in China. So Panini makes a exclusive here. So they're usually just checklist is the same, but just different uh, different exclu parallels exclusive to this set is what differentiates it. All right, so we're gonna do all 20 of these boxes first. And then we'll do the sneaker, and then we'll close out with the Hit Parade VIP Chairman Edition, which should be pretty fun. I'm very curious to see what we got in there. All right, you can see all the rest of the box on the top camera as well. So there's eight Asia exclusive parallel. I'm not sure what they what they look like, but I'm sure we'll figure it out pretty quickly. An all card ship.
right. And right out of the gate, we got a Zion Williams. So these must be the exclusives, right? And the dual colored one, nice Zion. So this is second year Zion, but of course, second year Zion will still carry some nice weight. There's Aaron Gordon, Tyrese Maxey. It's Lonzo Ball, there's Tyler Bay, there's Trey Young. And a Tyrese Halliburton, that's pretty nice. Jeremy Lamb and a Steph Curry numbered to 99. Was that other one numbered? No, Trey Young was not numbered. But this uh, Steph Curry to 99 will go to Gale and the Warriors. The Zion goes to Anthony and the Pelicans. There's a refractor Emmanuel quickly. That looks pretty nice too. He had a pretty solid season. There's Tyrese Halliburton. Nice rookie there for Matt Lieber and the and the Kings. And Jeremy Lamb on the back. Next box. Next box, Landry Shamit. We've got a rookie, Devin Vassell. Legends of the Ball, Anthony Hardaway. LeBron James and a second year, John ja Morant. And that exclusive parallel, it's pretty nice. That'll be for Ruben and the Grizzlies. The LeBron card will go to Eric and the Lakers. Changing his number to six. Wendell Carter Jr., Bradley Beal, and there's our first Lamello. Emmanuel Quickly, Devin Vassell to 99 for the Spurs, and then now playing Lamello. So the Lamellos, of course, will go to Matt Lieber, who got randomized to Charlotte Hornets with a spot he bought straight up. Have they announced Rookie of the Year yet? Is he going to be Rookie of the Year? Now, Will Driggers was asking earlier, he's got some Lamellos. Should he hold? Should he sell? That was a good question, Will. Where, where, where are you leaning? I would lean, if you, if you don't need to, you know, if you don't need to sell it right away, if you don't need to sell right away, I would hold on to it. I feel like Lamelo Ball seems to be seems to be the kind of player that could. Uh, I don't know. He's got like an X factor, right? He obviously he plays well. That's first and foremost. He's a good basketball player. And second, there's there's just some some sort of character and charisma around around the Ball family. So. So there's some there's that added X factor for him. So I'd hold on to him. What's up, TJ? Happy Wednesday to you too. All right, next box. Jameis Ramsey. We got Brooke Lopez to 99. Peyton Pritchard and Denny Avija. Karis Levert. Steph Curry, high voltage. There's Patrick Williams, Ben Simmons, 
Remember, all, all cards ship, so you'll be getting everything for your team here. Nice cool looking card here. Mello Ball. Nice magazine style insert. Yeah, Will is leaning towards holding. He's so young. I agree. That's the thing about... Uh, that's the interesting thing about basketball. These, these kids, really, are selected so young. Remember, they're only playing, you know, a year or two in college, right? Or overseas in some cases, right? Lamelo's only 19. He turns 20 in late August. Right, so I mean, let's let's think of let's think about like Kevin Durant. Like it was kind of like you for his first couple of years, you knew he was going to be a great player. But it still took a player like Kevin Durant you know, a number of years before he was the superstar that we know him to be today. There's Thomas Bryant to 99. So yeah, if you can hold, I would. He could be, he could be, be pretty special. I mean, look at Giannis' his first year, first couple of years, and then what he turned into now. There's another exclusive John Moran, Asia exclusive John Moran. You know, young players still have to have to learn, you know, adjust to the speed of the game, the length of the season. <laughs> they got to start understanding, you know, it takes takes some time for them to understand, you know, complex NBA defenses that are that are coming at you, especially if you're primary ball handler or scorer. So he's got to figure all that out. That takes a number of years. There's Matt Lieber with a bunch of lamellos. All of these add up. Now, I know lamellos started off the season hot, but... There are some players who are also late bloomers, so that's some that's another thing to kind of spot if you're looking for, you know, because Lamelo prices are probably already are already pretty high if you wanted to get in on the investing game. But there are always players that you can uh, buy low on, and then eventually uh, cash in on them later on. Be like Donovan Mitchell, maybe. Yeah, maybe like Jamal Murray would be a good example. Jamal Murray, first couple years, well, it wasn't really anybody. I know he's unfortunately injured now, but but he's kind of a late bloomer. Oladipo, kind of a late bloomer. So a lot of those guys, sometimes it just takes takes a little time for them to adjust to the league and get into get, and get on the right team that could unlock their potential. You know, so there, there's a lot of uh, a lot of players to still kind of find some value on. Yeah. 
Bam Adebayo to 25. It's James Weissman. Bam Adebayo. And the next box. Four packs per box. I could probably open a set of boxes at one time. So with that being said, who do you, who do you think the value players could be in the 2020 draft? I feel like any Spurs player, you know, with as you know, because Popovich could develop any of those youngsters into perennial all stars, right? So I feel like guys like Devin Vassell, or even even some of the some of the rookies on guys like Keldon Johnson, stuff like that. You know, players like that, you could probably find some value. Lonnie Walker, so on and so forth. Damien, speaking from a little uh, Thunder, Oklahoma City Thunder bias, but he likes Alexei Pokusevsky. Yeah, see, there's, there's a lot of great buy, buy low opportunities. You know, like I think Cole Anthony kind of had a had a slow start to his rookie campaign for the Orlando Magic. He was 15th overall, but there's a player that you could probably buy low on. What about Sadiq Bey? Had a few uh, had a few nice games. Precious Achua for the Heat. Looked great at times. Tyrese Maxey may be making a name for himself in the playoffs. And if the Sixers go deep into the playoffs and Tyrese Maxey keeps playing some solid basketball. This is uh, another five boxes right there. All right, let's roll. Good luck. Now that we got a some a good familiarity with these cards. We can move a little bit more quickly. All right, so we've got a nice set of cards right here. There's Patrick Williams for the Bulls. It's another solid player. There's now playing Anthony Edwards for Minnesota. There's Kira Lewis Jr., 99, flipping over this little mellow ball here. It's all right. He's okay. Going to Matt and the Charlotte Hornets. And we have the even better Silver, now playing Anthony Edwards, number one overall pick. Going to Anthony. Anthony P. with Anthony E. This guy could be really great, too. highlight dunks from him and everything that that could definitely help his value greatly
nice Tyrese Halliburton now playing silver. And a now playing LaMelo Ball. More for Matt. Skylar Mays to 25. And that'll be for the ATL. That's going to be for Daniel. And an autograph, John Collins, Hoops Inc. Auto. Nice, the one, one of the rare autos that you can find out of these sets. And goes to Daniel Katz and the Atlanta Hawks. I like John Collins' game, he's pretty strong. There's AD, he's keeping his number. Denny Avija could be another guy that could be a nice buy low candidate. I feel like injuries hampered his rookie year, but I feel like he's got some uh, he's got some potential. Marcus all to 99 there's a Kongu who played with uh, played with the ball brothers in high school and then when I think went to USC for a year here's another autograph that's fat lever old school guy old school nugget Denver it's going to go to Sean O'Leary. Sean O. Nice. Alex Caruso. Tilakina, 99. Yeah. <laughs> Got a couple right there. Nice. Okay. Halfway through this uh, case of Hoops Team All Edition, Asia Edition. So we're seeing a lot of fun exclusives here. Here comes the other half. All right, we'll roll through another five boxes here. So we got about another 20, 25 minutes for the hoops case. Then we'll get to the real good stuff right back there. The uh, Hit Parade VIP Chairman Edition and the sneaker. Yeah, going back to Pokusevsky, Damien saying, just think about it. Yeah, seven-footer moving the way he does. It's, it's crazy how, how well some of those big men can move these days. You know, and, and shoot outside shots as well.
All right, we only have one one NBA playoff game tonight, which I think will be happening in in a couple hours or so. So it's just Nuggets at Phoenix. So the Suns are already up a game. Let's see if Nuggets are going to try to take one on the road before they go back to Denver. Crucial game for them. Nikola Jokic wins his first MVP award. I was watching, uh, what was I watching? I think I was watching Highly Questionable. And uh, when he was drafted, I think in somewhere in the second round when he was drafted, uh, and, and I think ESPN was, was broadcasting the draft. When he was drafted, it was just on the bottom of the screen, just a ticker. Denver Nugget select. Dot, dot, dot. And it was during commercial. And then MVP. Uh, more Suns talk. All right, Joe P is here saying the MVP award to Jokic is going to fuel the Suns. But why would that fuel the Suns? Did they think they had an MVP on that team? Come on, CP3 did not have a chance at MVP. Come on. Now, now that's just, that Suns bias is just too much now, Joe P. I mean, CP3 solid. I think he, I think he's great. Which the Lakers had him, but I just don't think was he even close in MVP voting. No, it was Jokic, Embiid, Steph Curry, Giannis, and then Chris Paul, Luka Doncic, and Lillard right behind him. Someone gave Derrick Rose a first place vote. It must have been a journalist in New York. <laughs> Or buddy of Derrick Rose's. There's Ovi Toppin. Now I, I agree that that Chris Paul had a great season. Does make, I mean, look what he did with Oakland, o, OKC last year. Look what he did with the Suns this year. Nice tribute insert for Zion. MVP though. Oh, the Rose vote was the fan vote portion. I see. All right, so that Zion goes to Anthony P. Very nice. Well, Danny, to be honest with you, I don't know if the Jazz is really a super great team this for this particular year. I mean, who did they end up drafting? Oh, they drafted Udoka Azubuike. So he's kind of a kind of a buy low candidate, I would say, or maybe not even a buy, like a stash, and see what happens with that player kind of candidate. But for you, you're really kind of hoping you get some big names out of out of one of those two boxes at the end. Right, right. The you can't give the fans that kind of power. The power to vote for the MVP. Because then Derek, Derek Rose might end up winning it. So all the crazy Knicks fans will be like, yeah, Derek Rose. Can't do that. Oh, sorry, Damien. Yeah, Damien's like, come on, don't bring up last year's OKC. Who thought Jokic... Joe P, of course. <laughs> He's saying Chris Paul, obviously. <laughs> that uh, that Suns Kool Aid in Phoenix must be delicious. Delicious. So delicious. I want to taste. 
It must be so good. I don't think Chris no, Paul... No, yeah, Joe P was... I never said he should not have won. No, Joe P was saying should have been Chris Paul all the way. <laughs> that means Jokic shouldn't have won. That's, I think that's what he's saying. I think he's pretending like he Chris didn't. Paul's, did he, where, where was Chris Paul in the top five? I think he was top five. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, we just looked at it. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth. Fifth, yeah. I mean, I would probably have put Luca over. Yeah. Too. He's saying that he, he's seeing that Chris Paul is going to use it as fuel. I don't know if Chris Paul feels like if it was like Joel Embiid, I, I might think Joel Embiid who finished second. Those legendary Chris might, Paul playoff runs. Might, might, use it, <laughs> might use it as fuel. I feel like Joel Embiid has more of a case for using it as fuel than CP3. But I guess Chris, whatever whatever it takes. If, I mean, if that helps motivate a player. Chris Paul's very motivated. So. He's he's printing out the voting results, putting it on the bulletin board, yeah. and being like, "You guys, I was shafted. I should have won that MVP." No. I'm going to use it as fuel. There's Emmanuel Quickly, rookie auto. No, if it was Elliot Bias, I'd be like, LeBron James should would have won MVP. But I'm not saying that. <laughs> There's Terry Cahill, Knicks. Emmanuel Quickly had a great season. Terry Cahill. That's that's a guy to look out for. Guy could come off the bench, score like 15, 20 points. So he, I think he could only get only get better. That Knicks team could only get better. Zach Collins to 99. Lori Markin into Yeah, no, it's Damien CP3 is pretty great. Mm. All right, there's another uh, NBA Hoops Anthony Edwards for Anthony P in Minnesota. And that's a 9 out of 10, J.J. Redick. It's a nice low number there. This is still Pelican's edition for Anthony. It's Kobe White to Next five boxes, last five boxes. I don't know, I personally think that CP3 has many other motivating factors for him than finishing fifth in MVP voting. I don't think he's going to use that as fuel. I think his desire for a ring, that should be fuel enough. If he finished second, maybe. And if it was close, if the voting was close, maybe. Maybe. But I just don't think I don't I don't think if you finish second in MVP voting, I'd be like yeah I, I could see that maybe as fuel. But I mean he wasn't even close in the voting. 
I don't think I don't think Envy I don't think individual awards is really on the radar for for Chris Paul. I feel like it factors in maybe five percent for a guy like CP3. All right, we're almost done here, folks. What teams are going to be in the finals? Gosh, I don't know. It's hard to say. I think... I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think that's kind of the exciting thing. That it's sort of wide open. I don't. I don't think. I, well, I mean, they could. They could. I mean, they, they're facing. You know, they're they're facing a a Denver team that's down Jamal. Jamal Murray. That's that's got to help. I think U, Utah is going to be tough for the Suns. If it's Utah or or the Clippers. They might have a chance to beat the Clippers. If I don't think the Clippers are going to win that series, though, I think Utah's going to win that series. They still got to get by by Denver. We'll see what happens tonight. Denver's still a tough team. Jokic could take over a game. I think the Jazz might get there. I think the Jazz, and then who else? I thought I thought the Bucks would put up a better fight. Hard to say. I feel like everything's sort of a dice roll. Yeah, it could. I mean, I guess it could be Suns Nets. Nash against the Suns. There's Gordon Hayward. That would be a good story. To 99. Camera. Wake up. I think we're back. That was weird. So these are the last few cards here. What is going on here? It's choppy again? Hmm. Maybe I have, maybe I have too many windows open, <laughs> eating up resources. Any of the, these patterns. All right, I ch closed closed out s some windows. Is it less choppy now? I want to see what the sneaker is. The computer's been acting weird. YouTube or the computer? I think the computer. Okay, that might be better. I'm actually looking at the CPU percentage being used, and it was at 50, and it's now down to 37 and a half. There we go. 
So that sh that should be that should be better. Alright. They had probably the Logan Paul they were streaming that on here. They're oh, so man. Uh, Sean was like, oh, Sean, can we buy it for all four TVs for two hundred dollars? Sean no. probably jammed up the. So he was probably streaming it. Oh boy, it. just and now we've got then, like Russian bots on our computer just sl slowing yeah, it down. He's trying to like he's trying to like mine Bitcoin off of our off our computer here. Come on, Sean Jaspi. Come on, <laughs> there's Deer and Fox at twenty five. There's Anthony Edwards, number like one overall Googled, pick. He just went to like minebitcoin.com. Yeah, and it's just. We're, prob we're probably looking for aliens on this computer. Remember when people used to do that? Like the, you can use your computer and 1% of the, no? Resources for SETI? <laughs> you don't remember this? No. So this organization, like you could donate like your bandwidth. CPU you can donate power? bandwidth, yeah, for, for their search That's cool. for uh, extraterrestrials. Is that like the NORAD thing where you track Santa? You Similar. But really, they track you. <laughs> right. <laughs> dun dun dun. What do we think is in the VIP Charmin box? Santa actually works for the NSA. Yeah. I mean, he's in everybody's houses. Come on, think about he's it. In everybody else's. Think about he it. Watches. He asks for lists. Of yeah, ask for lists of stuff that you want. He just sells all your data There's on Facebook. <laughs> Probably Zuckerberg. <laughs> Santa Claus is just taking your data, <laughs> just just so you can get more personalized ads. Yeah, he's just selling it to Facebook. Uh, Devonte Graham is your hot signature. He has the gall to ask for cookies. Going after, to I know he has the gall to ask us for cookies and milk. Unbelievable, Santa. Shame on Santa. I'm gonna go to the North Pole and pick it. All what right. Box number do we got from the chairman? 191 out of 500. Any NBA players with the number 191? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it could be number 19 plus a number one. I couldn't name it either. Is Devin Booker number one? I don't know who who's who. No one's had a number. Wait, who's a who's famous nineteens? And who's famous number ones? Oh wait, what's the SETI thing, Rebel? It's where you. Wait, are, my computer is given a job, and then the CPU or GPU is used to do the calculation. Then it finishes, and then it gets reported back instead of having just one computer. Oh, okay, I see. Sam Cassell. Basically, looking for aliens. Tyson Chandler. Raja Bell. Leandro Barbosa. I think people would be very disappointed <laughs> if that's what <laughs> popped out of that VIP chairman edition. <laughs> if it was any of those players you mentioned. What about Matt Clifton or Bob Cousy? Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe guys, well, maybe guys here, that are like 75 would be like, former, yeah, thanks for the Bob Cousy. I got a former Laker. Here we go. Uh -oh. Svi Miliuk. <laughs> oh man, sharpshooter? Yeah. Svi Miliuk? He's he's the next Kyle Korver. What if he's in there? I think people would be very disappointed. Okay. <laughs> and it's like Pistons edition. No one wants that. The second team that he's on is Karis Levert to ninety nine. He sees like Mo Wagner, Lucas Simonich, and Speed Mahilia. There's John Morant tribute and Easton Stick. Right, yeah, this. If it's Sve Mahali out of there, the CEO, the chairman, is definitely getting fired. He's getting replaced by the, by the board. Thunder edition. No, Hit Parade wouldn't do us like that. Hit Parade would not do us like that. They are a, a solid well, organization. Remember when we opened the same kicks number that Donovan Mitchell was? That's true. I wonder if that was planned. I don't think that. I can't imagine. You can't imagine, right? Like some intern probably packs those, so it's not like yeah. so it's not like rigged. Here's a quick uh, 
recap of the 20 boxes of Hoops Basketball T-Mall Edition, Asia Edition. Thanks, everyone. Got some nice autographs, some Lamello, some Anthony Edwards's. Are we doing with the sneaker? Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to do the sneaker first, and then we'll close out with the VIP. There's only one thing in that VIP, right? Yeah. I think so. All right, let's do the sneaker first. So now the fun stuff. Put your thinking caps on. Put your thinking caps on. All right, Nick Jaspi not looking. He's going to play along as well. Who am I? Where I give you the clues, and you try to guess who's in here. Uh oh. All right. So this will go to, remember, there aren't teams on here and there's no checklist. So we're going to go by our no checklist rules. So if they're a active player, it'll go to the team they're currently on right now, Tuesday, June 9th, 2021. And if they're a retired player, then it'll go to the team they played for the longest, according to basketballreference.com. So who am I? I'm a retired basketball player. 6'10", 245, was a first round pick back in the late 80s, 10th overall. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career, and two teams twice. Right, so I was with one team, and then years later I joined that team again. And I did that twice with two different teams. I'm a four-time NBA champion, an NBA, NBA All-Star, All a four-time NBA All-Defensive second team. All he must be bummed that he's never been first team. Consensus second team All-American and ACC Player of the Year back in the late 80s. And first team All-ACC. Four-time NBA champ, NBA All-Star. One-time NBA All-Star? One-time NBA All-Star. Went to Clemson. Oh, Hollywood's got it. Wait, hold on. Clemson? Clemson for, I, did you cheat Hollywood? You better not have looked that up. That, you answered that pretty quickly. I feel like I didn't give a lot of very, very many clues. Clemson University? Yeah, basketball? first round, yeah, late 80s Who's Clemson. A Clemson University basketball player? 10th overall. 10th overall, 10th. 10th overall 10th. I'll give you the year, 1987. 1987, 10th overall. And let's see what team he played for the longest. Now he played for two teams the same amount of seasons, so games, the next column over on basketball reference, will be the tiebreaker. Oh, oh, all right. Boss man's getting close. Don't look. Kukoc? Tony Kukoc. Kukoc, no. No, I don't think Kukoc. Kukoc's a on the ball. Second team all defense. Think about defensive players. It's not Rodman. Who's the big center? Bill Cartwright? No, it's not Cartwright. Horace Grant? Grant. Hey! Who said Horace Grant? Jason. Jason, Horace Grant. Nice. Hollywood got it as well. All right, and so let, let me just flip here for a second. Um, this will actually go to the Bulls. So he played for seven seasons for Chicago and Orlando, but he played more games. That's We'll use that as the tiebreaker. So Eric K with the Bulls. Now we can do who am I, with the chairman. All right, so let's show you the shoe. Oh, I see. Hollywood, Hollywood just got an autographed Horace Grant card, and he remembered it saying 610. There you go. All right, all right. Ooh, some nice, nice kicks here. That's pretty cool, right? Both Air Forces? 
Yeah, any uh, any sneakerheads can identify the actual shoe here. There's his, oh, let's flip screens again. There's his autograph right there. All right, so you got the JSA sticker right here and the associated card. Let's see if there's, this doesn't look, yeah, this, these, these are brand new. But let's see, I can't see the size, but pretty nice. Well, there's, a, there's only one of them too, Eric. It's just the left side, but if you're a size if you're a Nike size 10, Horace Grant's not a size 10, but if you're a Nike size 10, I mean, you can put it on one foot. He's not a size 10? I doubt that 6'10 Horace Grant has a size 10 foot. That'd be crazy. That'd be wild. I want someone to find out the tallest basketball player with the smallest shoe size. seems kind of small. Chris Paul is my size at 12 and a half. Paul George is a size 12. Isaiah Thomas is a size 12. Isaiah Thomas is not super tall though, is he? Isaiah Thomas, um, the new one. Oh. So he's, no, he's short. He's short too, I think. All right, Eric, congrats. All right, he's and listed as 5'9", I think he's who, Isaiah Thomas? Yeah, that, um, <laughs> that's, I feel like that's generous. All right, there it is. Hit Parade VIP Chairman Edition. Basketball Series 1. This is box 191 out of 500. So let's see what's inside here. This is our last one of our Hit Parade T-Mall mixer. Thanks, everyone, for joining on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Keep your eye out on the website for more fun mixers like this. They cover it with something? Yeah, they do. All right, there's one card in here. And it's graded PSA 9. All right, who am I? Who am I? I'm a rookie this year. Played 51 games and averaged 15.7 points a game, nearly six rebounds a game, and nearly six assists a game. So basically 16, six, and six this season. Who am I? That's all you get. Anything else, I'll probably... That's a, it's a really great rookie season, to be honest with you. If he played more than 51 games, that would have been great. His win share is at 2.8, which is, I think, pretty solid for a rookie. I've got no college information. I, sh I shoot right-handed. Born in Anaheim. Went to Chino Hills High School. <laughs> Everyone knows this, right? Yeah. Ray, Jonathan, with the LaMelo guest. That is correct. Um, and that's for Matt Lieber. And look at this. It's... Not just a regular Lamello like you see, and maybe Hit Parade Sapphire might give you regular ones. This is a silver Lamello. The base ones are pretty great, but the silver ones are even better. Mint nine, Lamello ball, prism that, rookie that silver. Box, like three hundred fifty bucks since it came out after the PSA shut down. That's awesome. Yeah, wait, what is this gonna go for? You think? Well, the grading alone costs like three hundred fifty bucks. <laughs> right, right, right. That's true. Uh, let's look at, so that's the break folks. Congrats again to Matt. We're gonna, while we're keeping the video running, we're gonna see what the price is on that. Prism, Lamello, Silver, PSA 9. Let's see if we have any results here. We've got, we got one that sold today. Best offer accepted at 1700 bucks.
Wait, why is why is that one at seventeen hundred? I feel like there's another one, which is kind of odd because there was another one that sold for seven hundred and seventy bucks. So that's kind of a sharp price difference, but hey, let's split the difference. Let's say it goes for about a grand. So there you go, pretty nice stuff. But then another one went for 1250, PSA nine. So yeah, I would say, I would say over a thousand pretty easily, I, I would say. Maybe if he wins rookie of the year officially, might, that might give him a little bit of a boost. I would even, I would just hold on to it. You know, and if he has a great second year, I mean, this card will continue to keep going up. And there you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.